Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video we are going to be doing a play review on Lucas Moura. It's going to be more of an in-depth play review today because this is one of the guys that I actually want to pick up for my account. And I think he looks really, really good. I'm very, very um, excited to bring this review for you guys. Right mids on this game are, I would, quite, I would, I would say, um, quite sparing. I would say there aren't too many right mids on this game which really fit the meta which are amazing on this game and I believe that Lucas Moore could be one of these cards that we are reviewing today so if you enjoyed today's video smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more 520 content as always thank you for all of the support on the previous video Joshua Kimmich what an amazing card haven't completed him yet but I will be doing it very very soon I do believe but I've got this team currently with Lucas Moore in and it's just amazing so the shape shifter card he has been moved from a centre forward to a right mid, which is actually decent. I think that's a good position change. We'll talk more about the changes, but looking at the base card stats, he gets a plus four to the pace, he gets a seven to the shooting, six to the passing, he gets six to the dribbling, he gets two to the defending, and um, seven to the physical. So some really, really nice boosts overall for an actual boost stat. Uh, boost his card, it looks really good. Plus four overall. In game though, this is where it gets interesting. He remains high medium, but he changes from a um, right foot to a left foot as his preferred foot. He goes up to four star, well he's four star, four star now with a four star skill moves, four star weak foot. I believe he was before, but um, yeah, I, th I thought that had changed. Four star, four star, which is really, really good anyway. Left foot is the main change though. In-game stats are phenomenal, especially for the pace. 99 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, 89 finishing, he's got 89 attack positioning, 86 shot power, which is more than good enough, 82 long shots. Um, volleys, penalties, they're alright, they're okay, not really going to come into play too much. 99 agility, 98 balance, 86 reactions, 88 ball control, 94 dribbling, 87 composure. His passing stats are decent, 83 short pass, 79 long pass. I think that's more than good enough for a winger on this game. Um, he's not going to be your playmaker, he will get the crosses in, and I think he will do um, just a fine job, 80 crossing. Not the best, could be a lot better, but it does a job, as you'll see, he gets a lot of assists for me. 99 jumping, 84 stamina, um, 63 strength and 79 aggression. So defending stats we don't really care about, but the stamina, 84 stamina, I'd love that to be a bit higher, I think, for a winger on this game, if you're playing him in a 4-2-3-1 as a wide cam. You'd like him to have higher stamina, but that is just the way it is. The Lucas Mora, it's a decent looking card. How much does it cost? Around 300,000 coins on either console. I think it will drop further, uh, but we have him in this team. I have him on loan currently, and he is just phenomenal in the 4-2-3-1 I tell him to get into the box for the cross and that's the only instruction I have on him I don't tell him to come back don't tell him to stay forward and he gets involved in the play so much so what I'm going to do in today's video is we are going to do the um, post-match highlights that I did get with Luke Smore give you a proper in-depth review of this card and um, sorry that there hasn't really been a consistency with the reviews lately that will be coming very very soon but there's just a few things outside of the stream which have been affecting it um, with noise from different places um, and not feeling so good. But enough of the excuses. I don't want to start with the excuses. Let's just get into the highlights that we did manage to get with Lucas Mora. So here we go then, guys. Into the highlights that we did manage to get with this new shapeshifter's Lucas Mora. And we're throwing it back to almost like a classic review style video today with no live gameplay. It feels weird. It does feel weird. Um, I was going to do one, but yeah, I said the noise was just so loud. I just thought we'll try and um, get this done. Hopefully it's quiet and allows us to finish this video. But, Lucas Moura, what did we like about him? Well, there were a, an abundance of uh, pros from this card, and it really did surprise me. I used his base card uh, at the start of the year, and if you've used that, you might be thinking, ah, oh, you know what, I don't really think there'll be too much difference in this one. Trust me, there is a hell of a difference, and you need a, there to be a massive difference to be paying 300 to 400,000 coins on this new type of card, but you don't only get the position change, you get some amazing stat boosts as well, which result in a number of pros for this card. So let's just get started. Talking about how many... How he was involved in the game, why was he so good? Well, the pace, the pace guys, 99 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. I feel like this has been something that I've lacked. I used Bernardo Silva in a right cam spot, throwing Lucas into the team. I played 10 games with him, I didn't lose a game. Honestly, he had that much of an imp impression in this team. that He was just, I think he's honestly going to be joining my team this weekend. I need to get 300,000 coins somehow for this Lucas Mora card. Hopefully I can afford it through rewards, but I need him. He is a key piece to the puzzle now I struggled this weekend had Neymar Mbappe um, and Ben Yedder in a team with Bernardo Silva I put Lucas Moore in that all just seemed to click Neymar was playing phenomenal he's getting in the right positions Lucas Moura little things like that little passes into Mbappe 
yes, Mbappe is doing the hard part, but Lucas Moura sets him up and it was just so important that he really, really does have a massive impact on your team. And I think if you have the likes of Cristiano, Messi, Mbappe, Neymar, he won't feel out of place. And I think that was one of the biggest compliments that I can give this card. He won't feel outdated. He won't feel like, you know what, you've spent 300,000 coins for what? He will be an instrumental player in your team, whether he's getting the main assist, whether he's getting the pre-assist, whatever it is, he will do an amazing job. Um, so I think that pace is just ridiculous. Really, really such an enjoyable thing. Look at that. He's running past Rio Ferdinand. Baby Rio Ferdinand runs past him and just scores an amazing goal. Now, I did watch Nick run the foot markets review of this card because I was so excited. I think he dropped it on like Saturday. I was like, yeah, he looks very, very good. But is he going to be good in my hands? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Finishing. 89 finishing, really, really good. With a dead eye, goes to 99. 86 shot power as well. 86 shot power was just a joke, to be honest. It really, really um, was very, very good. I think that he's able to score all types of goals. Look at this one. Beautiful, beautiful finesse shot. And it wasn't only the finesse shots. It was a near post. It was the low driven to any sort of shot you want to do. Having him on that left foot, there's something about left, foot, left footed players in real life and in the game. And he was just so, so good. But positioning. Positioning for a right cam, you need it to be good. You need them to be up and down the pitch. You need them to be getting in the right spots. And look at that run there. I think that the run backs up the 89 positioning. Really, really good. Lovely fake shot, lovely ball roll into Mbappe, who gets us the goal, gets us back in the game. And as I say, he was so important to making sure that we didn't lose any of these games. I think we drew like one and won the other nine. Um, passing, you see, gets an assist. And he did get six assists in total in 10 games. And I really, really did enjoy that aspect about him. I think that when you've got a guy who can do the assist, who can do the shot, he's a really complete winger. Dribbling was nuts. 99 agility, 98 balance, 88 ball control, 87 composure. Felt really, really comfortable in the clutch moments. I felt like I could rely on him. I think that with Lucas Moura, you didn't really get that in the past. But with the boost that they've given him, it was actually really surprising. The high-medium work rates, once again, are really, really good. Um, I felt like I could... Just knew I knew where he would be. That's the best way I can put it. Left foot suits him perfectly. And the four star, four star. With him being four star off skill moves, he performs them very, very quickly. With the agility, with the balance, everything like that, you would expect him to do that. But he did not disappoint at all with the skill moves. If you're a type of guy who likes to go on FIFA, do the skill moves. Lucas Moura, Brazilian flair. He will not let you down. He's versatile. I honestly would play this guy left forward, right forward. Um, or we'll play with Cam because the passing isn't exceptional, but you can play him left forward, right forward, striker. I think striker would be a really solid position if you play like a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, switching up in-game to go narrow, having this guy as a striker, I think would be a fantastic option. And he gets good links, being Brazilian, you can link him with Allen, you can link him to Brazilian icons, you can get strong links to a bunch of cards. I think that as an overall package, that explains why he's the price he is. The only downside, I did feel um, Lucas Moura strength, 63 strength. What can you expect really? And Lucas Moura is not going to be as strong as like Hulk or something like that. He's going to be weak. But that didn't bother me too much. I just think that you might get brushed off the ball a few times. Um, it, it, what takes him away from being a high rating? Probably five star skill moves, five star weak foot. That would ele elevate this card massively. And I would say that the stamina, 84, if you to play him in an out wide position, he, due to the high medium work rate, he does track back. I like that. But it does mean that his stamina will deplete over time. Um, but that is basically it, guys, for the pros and cons. I think that if you get this guy, you're going to love him. I think that everyone who's tested this card so far does love him. He will be joining my team very, very soon. It seems like the players we are reviewing lately um, have been really, really good. Joshua Kimmich, Lucas, Lucas today. Um, and comparable players to this guy, the ones that I've used over the period of time in FIFA 20, I would say the road to the final, Dembele does compare. Dembele is probably a bit more electric, 5 star, 5 star. Has a bit more about him, I'd probably rate him just a little bit better than this Lucas Moura. But how much is he? 800,000, 900,000 coins to a million maybe. He was exceptional. Messi, being left footed now, Lucas Moura, you can compare him to Elino Messi. His shot, not as good, but the pace, the electricity from this card, fantastic. And I would say Bernardo Silva. I would put this card higher than Bernardo Silva. He's not as versatile, meaning that you can't play him at camp centre mid, but you can play him as striker. So I think that if you get Lucas Moura, let me know how he is down in the comments. If there's anyone you want to see me review, let me know down in the comments too. I've really, really enjoyed bringing these videos to you guys. I'm going to have another one this afternoon, looking at some of the best attackers in general in FIFA 20. So I will see you then. If you enjoyed it, smash the like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. See you later.